Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and we are on our way to go do a little bit of work for the Theology Council. So what's the story behind this? As you may know, uh, I've been in the process of uh, doing a bit of preparation for this summer and for the new PvE content. Part of that is getting my ships up to date and ready for work in all my bases of operations. Now the mining ships, the Orcas, those are coming along nicely. And my uh, next target is going to be to have a mission ship uh, in all three bases of operation. Uh, that's going to be a rattlesnake, but it does mean that I have to have something to do here as well. And you can always go for the Ag Agents Finders. And uh, unfortunately here, level 4 Agents, there are not that many of them. But there are two of them for the Theology Council um, in the Sasutic uh, system. And so this is what I'm going to work on at the moment. I'm going to grind some missions for the Theology Council. RP-wise, it is definitely working for the crazier part of DMR, the um, religious fundamentalists. Uh, but I think it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to check out and see how hard the grind is at the moment. Um, starting off with level 2 missions um, in order to get and unlock those level 4 missions. So we'll see how I get it to work and my first uh, batch, I did those yesterday. The Confessor is uh, definitely a pretty good ship in order to do that. In sniper mode you basically do have uh, plenty of range and optimal is, is really good as well. So that you are actually going to uh, hit a lot just with the... Um, uh, I think standard is best, it's 24, 25 kilometers. Uh, good tracking as well against the little frigates. So let's go. The closest system where I could actually get started on that journey is right here in Gev. Uh, five jumps from the Tal. And in this station we have a, a level 2 security agent for the Theology Council. And so we're going to work a little bit on a rep grind doing some missions. Uh, after that I'll uh, get a rattlesnake. I'm still working on some of the skills for rattlesnakes as well. So all of that needing some time is actually not a bad thing. And then uh, one thing that I had here as well was that I kept the tab open for... Let's take a look here. Interactions I think... So there we go, docking at the Theology Council and I think I'm just above or below 2.0. Let's take a look here. Um, Theology Council, yeah, 209 and then what I can do is I can open up the transactions and here you can see a couple of missions that I did yesterday uh, increasing my, um, my, uh, my standings with them. Uh, so the goal is unlocking uh, level 3 missions, then run those up into level 4 missions. Uh, I think that there's also a level 3 agent not too far from here. Let's do a quick look at agent finder here as well. Let's do rank 3. And ooh, that's actually quite a bit further away. 12 jumps, 13 jumps. Hmm, I thought that there was a level 3 nearby. So we may have to grind out level 4s using this level 2 agent. That would be quite a bit of work. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out, right? Let's get started on the grind here. So it's this guy, Same uh, Marver. And uh, he wants us to fight some... You know, I do always want to click on this um, religious cults. And these guys are actually the Blood Raiders. So... What I am always going to avoid and stop at are if I get missions against uh, another faction like the Minmatar or the Galente. I'm not taking those because I don't want any standings hits against the, against the Empires. Uh, but something against pirates within the system is pretty good. What's the mission? Um, destroy the habitat of the pirate leader, then report back to the agent. That should be uh, doable. So, uh, to be honest, I've never really done a lot of rep grinding because I've always been the uh, miner in the family. So, when I started playing EVE Online, it's uh, almost always been about mining uh, for me and my brother was actually the mission guy and so uh, what was really helpful for me is that he would do the rep grinds up to level fours then i would just jump in a battleship join him in the level four missions and he would get very nice boosts from doing those shared missions and then i would actually get into that rep range myself as well uh, but i don't have that many um, uh, that many um, corporations, NPC corporations that I have the standings for level 4s and so in this base of operation I definitely have some work to do. So let's get started here. Um, the Confessor I think is a great ship. Definitely um, is, uh, it's going to be appreciated that I'm using an Amar ship 
uh, in the missions for the Theology Council, of course, Religious Council for the Amar. And uh, let's get started on this here. Where do we land? What do I need to find? Okay, so we get a couple of Diviner Corpies and I think we'll need to go over here. That's the habitat right there at 75 kilometers. So let's target that. Then we can whip and just try to attack those Corpy Diviners. Look at that, 3000 meters from me. And in sharpshooter mode, we still get the hits, no problem. Um, so this is really great. On top of that, this ship is built a little bit to be able to go into C1 wormholes. So uh, I can try to tank and speed tank away from uh, from any real trouble. And I can just stay in uh, sharpshooter mode pretty much the whole time. So here we get another little group that's heading my way. Let's see if I can actually grab their attention. Because I don't want to travel towards them. And then the habitat here will do approach. What I could do, I could go into propulsion mode, increasing my speed normally. Yeah, there we go. Increasing my speed from like 600 up to 800, something like that. Yeah, above 800, definitely speeding me up here. Very nice. Off towards the habitat we go. We're going to orbit that puppy at like 5000 meters. Doesn't matter that much. Once we come in range, so at the moment here, 16 kilometers takes a little bit of time. But then if I go to sharpshooter mode, which we'll do right now. Optimal range, 26 kilometers, fall off, uh, 24 kilometers, fall off, 26 kilometers. So we're basically going to hit almost anything within that range. So let's get started on the habitat here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with looting or anything like that. This is going to be a pure standing grind. So I'm going to do these missions as quickly as possible. Hopefully as efficiently as possible as well. Although I'm not going to build like the best possible ship to do all of this very quickly. I'm very happy with this little confessor uh, for these level 2 missions. And let's take care of the habitat. Let's see if anything else spawns. But for now, these, uh, these guys are actually staying well behind. 40 kilometers that one is in structure uh, we could speed it up maybe not that it matters that much but let's grab the multi-frequency let's see if the hits are they are substantially larger that is done so um, I can also oops also killed cruel yesterday uh, I can dock back like this put the standards back in here and off we go see you guys later i'm not gonna bother with this this uh, three more rats here let's get the hell out of here and grab our rewards take a look at the next mission uh, after this one so this should be decently fast level two missions are not that hard especially when you've got the skill points for take two fits and things like that um, but uh, one uh, longer mission that I had, a tougher one um, against Sasha, I'm not sure what the name was anymore. That 1.8 boost here did take a longer time and I had to do a little bit of flying uh, to make sure that uh, they were testing my tank basically. If I didn't use a little bit of speed tanking, uh, they were actually starting to uh, outdo my ripping. So here we go. Next step, uh, press complete mission. And we'll do request the next one, which is against... Ooh, what's that? Uh, let's... Drop off location. Ah, it's against Galente. And this is the very unfortunate thing that does happen from time to time. Is that uh, they will throw in some of these missions that I would never take. Because I don't want to take a hit uh, with my Empire standings. And so unfortunately uh, I'm going to have to decline this baby. And we are going to come back tomorrow to do a few more missions. Then uh, I can repress all. And so here we have a next little boost. Really a tiny boost. 0.58. Um, bringing our... Let's take a quick look at that again. Man, it's been a such a long time since I've used... Uh, all of these windows and mechanics and now theology council 2.13 so just one mission point point zero uh, four up here in the actual numbers not that bad you know i do think that i can make good progression if i'm a little bit more lucky 
with the types of missions uh, that uh, that I'll get from this guy. But this is going to be for me uh, my next job in EVE Online. My next goal in EVE Online is it gets my reputation up with the Theology Council to be able to do level four missions. Then I'll get a rattlesnake here and uh, I'll have this base of operations basically uh, up and running for mission running as well if I ever feel the need to do that and of course I'll keep you guys up to date um, on, the, on the progress there for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time